Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today, we have a bit of an interesting product here. It's by a company called Mazdeal. They sent this out to me to check out on the channel. This will be going into my bedroom and hopefully looking goddamn amazing. This is a night lamp, Bluetooth speaker, and it has a wireless phone charger built into it as well. So it kind of has everything and um, this will be going beside my bed on top of my bedside table and hopefully looking good. The fact that this has like a Bluetooth speaker built into it and a phone wireless charger, it's pretty sick. Those are like the two main features that I'm kind of interested in and hopefully this thing doesn't let me down as these are pretty expensive. In the UK these go for around £140 but on Amazon you can use like um, a voucher and get £20 off immediately so that kind of drops the price down to like what, £120? Um, but yeah, pretty expensive product. Hopefully it's good and hopefully it's actually like, you know, worth the money because for this amount of money, you know, this Bluetooth speaker better be good. This wireless charger better be good too. Whether this thing has RGB or not, we shall find out as well because uh, if it has RGB, that's like a cherry on top, you know, but uh, I have a feeling it doesn't have RGB, unfortunately. Uh, I've seen some photos of it on Amazon and uh, in none of the photos, does it appear to have RGB. Anyway, it has come very well packaged. I'll tell you that. Like, there's no way in hell that this arrived damaged. It's packaged very well. Right, the model we have here today is like for UK slash EU. So we have the power supply here with two adapters, UK and EU, depending on which country you're in. This is of course also available in Canada and the USA. And you know, if you buy it there, you won't get UK and EU adapters, you'll get your normal adapters that you're used to seeing. Uh, right, we've got a user manual. User manual. <laughs> Oh, without further ado, I think this packaging kind of splits in half. Ooh, okay. Is this thing gonna be like completely plastic? Will it be metal? I hope there's some metal pieces. I really do. Uh, for the wireless phone charger, which is at the bottom, is this like rubberized? Is it just all plastic? Boom, we've unboxed this thing. Um, okay. This uh, feels very cheap. Okay, so I'm guessing the wireless phone charger is like right here. So first impressions in terms of build quality, not the most impressive thing on earth. Um, it's just plastic really and um, this this feels very cheap there's a button on top here we have an LED indicator and a bunch of other indicator lights as well um, there is a subwoofer beneath this part right here like at the bottom of the like lamp shade thing and there is a 360 degree speaker um, on top here which hopefully sounds good like for this amount of money it, it better sound good all right all right the power adapter is in it's a bit of a weird one to install but we, we got it set up. I'm going to initially set this up in the office because the lighting here is a little bit better. And then once we're done testing it and making sure it freaking works, we shall move it to the bedroom. All right, so power goes in at the very back here, which uh, is nice. Oh, boom, it's on. Simple as that, dude. All right. So to turn the lamp on, you shall tap the bottom. Boom, it's on. Pretty cool. And I kind of see why this kind of feels like very cheap. This is a very thin layer that the light shines through actually. So that makes a bit more sense. Will we be able to connect to this device via Bluetooth immediately? Because there is a blue indicator flashing inside. Doubt the camera can pick it up. But anyway, there is like a blue light flashing uh, inside of there. Okay, so on Bluetooth, we've already found it. Very nice. We got our TV, Razor wireless charger. It's freaking synced already, we've connected. This is like so simple. Now it's up on Spotify, man. Will this speaker be any good? That's the real question, man. In terms of bass, it's actually kind of impressive. This thing is actually kind of loud. There's a subwoofer and the whole table is like shaking. This speaker system really isn't too bad. Um, I wouldn't say it's like blowing me away in terms of sound quality, but in terms of loudness, like it, it's all right. Whether or not this wireless charger works though, we shall now find out. Okay, it's working. Well, that was just um, immediate. The quality of this wireless charger is uh, unknown to me. Whether or not this is any good or not in terms of uh, actual quality of charging, don't really know yet. I think we should move this to the bedroom and see how it looks like there. Let's unplug this dude. Boom. All right, let's take this to the bedroom. Do, 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 past the nano leaves, and we are here. All right, we're gonna be putting him right. Ooh. Ooh, how will we do this? Very interesting, cool. So, I'm gonna take my lining cable back because uh, clearly won't be needing that no more. 
Jesus Christ, just dropped the Amazon Echo Spot. Sorry, dude. Um, nearly killed it, probably. Damn. Somewhat kind of matches the color of the wood here. It's a bit of a lighter shade. Not too bad. Let's turn the lights off and see how bright this thing actually is. Ooh, that is definitely bright enough. So, in terms of brightness, this thing actually is pretty good. We can pop our phone back on here and it'll charge. Ooh, we accidentally turned the, the light off. Whoops. Um, wait a minute. Right, so you can maybe see right there, there's like a red LED indicator. So when the phone's not on there, it's set to red. Once you pop your phone on there, your phone's charging, the LED indicator will turn blue. Pretty cool. And then right beside it, there are also the brightness controls. So we can turn it all the way down to the lowest brightness setting and turn it all the way up by dragging here. And if you want to turn the light off, tap here, tap it again to turn it on. Pretty simple stuff. As for the controls on top, you can just barely see them. This is the play pause button. Oh. As you can see, oh, pause that. We have volume up and volume down here as well. So if you tap this a million times, it'll uh, go down in volume. And if you tap this, it'll increase in volume. Uh, there's no actual volume indicator. You just kind of like notice by how loud the speaker is. If you go ahead and long press the volume down button, that'll go back a song. And if you go ahead and long press the volume up button, that'll go forward a song. So in terms of controls, that's how everything works. It's all pretty simple, all pretty straightforward. It is charging my phone. Uh, just very slowly, but I'm sure if I left this phone on here overnight It'd probably be fully charged by the time I wake up, but yeah, man pretty cool addition to the bedroom Not RGB unfortunately that would have been a nice feature to see but it is kind of cool Like I'm not hating it the fact that it's a Bluetooth speaker like that's kind of like a cherry on top almost You know I can now listen to slightly louder music in the bedroom because in the past we had an Amazon Echo spot beside this bedside table I think I'm gonna go ahead and relocate my Amazon Echo spot that was sitting here to the other end of the bed in the corner there. I'll just put it on the other bedside table and kind of leave them there. Let me turn the lights back on in the bedroom here. All right, so that's how everything like looks like. I can go ahead and show you the previous lamp I was using, which is in the corner right here. We're gonna put the Amazon Echo spot here instead now. But this one here is RGB and you've seen me use it in my gaming setups in the past. But if you tap the bottom here, oops, is it? oh my God, it's actually unplugged, whoops. I'm like, why is it not working? Oh, it's not even plugged in. <laughs> right, let's try that again. Hello? Is this thing broken? Okay, never mind. Um, I was gonna show you this RGB lamp and how cool it is with this RGB, but um, I think it broke. I don't know when it broke. I I'm pretty sure it was working a few days ago, but it ain't working no more. I'm glad we have this one now. We are down a lamp. I was gonna give that to my friend. Rip, rest in peace lamp, you will be missed. Now, one thing I have to sort out is cable management. I don't really wanna see uh, you know, the, the contrast there, like the black cable against the white wall, it don't look that good. So, so hopefully I have uh, like a pretty short extension cable that I can use. I have this thing. It has a bunch of USB ports and it has three ports and it's a white cable. So we can use that and then kind of plug all the devices in behind the bed and have excellent cable management. All right, boom, I'm plugging both. Plug that thing in and we can hide everything plug you in here and then the amazon echo spot can go in here as well but now the uh, the trick is to hide this thing this uh, bedside lamp also makes a noise when it boots up it's kind of cool well, that's looking much better already man hello all right dude everything's cable managed it's actually looking a whole lot nicer uh, as you can see, no more contrast, no more black cables being shown there against the wall. It's just a white cable going into a power extension that's behind the bed, all hidden away, all very nice. Uh, so we have the bedside table lamp right here, shining away, looking good. Then we have the Amazon Echo spot kind of in the corner here. The cable is of course going all the way behind the bed there into the power extension. But yeah, pretty happy with this. Cable management, you know, is important and this looks pretty good. Play. Turn it up. All right, well, that'll pretty much be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me set up this sick bedside table lamp. If you wanna go pick one up yourself, link in the description, of course. Massive shout out to MassDio, the company that sent me this bedside table lamp. You know, link in the description, of course, to the product where you can buy it yourself. Pretty sure it's available worldwide. 
but uh, the price tag of this thing is like the only thing that really concerns me. It's a very expensive product and um, you essentially get a Bluetooth speaker that's loud but not the best sound quality. LED lights that are definitely bright enough for like a bedside table lamp I'd say, but it's not RGB. And the wireless charger, did it charge my phone even one bit? No. Um, and a questionable wireless charger. I don't know if it's worth this kind of price tag. I feel like this kind of product should almost be worth probably around 50 pound if not less, but it is priced at a very premium price point, you know, 120 pound up to 140 pound, depending on whether or not you use the voucher. So definitely uh, a hefty price tag for something that really shouldn't cost this much, I believe. Anyway, that's just my opinion about the product. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.